now uh, this is important relationship queries in anyhow everything is important but yes relationship queries you will come across this a lot uh, because you sometimes you will have to query uh, data from parent or from child right so you are writing a query on a child object and you want to retrieve the values of the parent associated parent record or you are putting a query on the parent object and you want to retrieve values from associated child record so how do we go about that child to parent uh, this is basically uh, you know how you go about it so from a child say contact is the child i am writing a query on the ch contact child object and i want to retrieve value of the parent this is how you can do it okay contact dot account dot name okay so it's just the actual this particular object dot the parent you know uh, relationship dot the field name from that particular parent all right so if you have to retrieve uh, account details or uh, you know from a child you can simply do this or select id name account dot name from contact where account dot industry equals media so you know you can put a criteria also from the parent so this is a query on contact but the criteria that i'm putting is on the parent okay so i'm able to retrieve the account dot name and then i'm also able to put a criteria using uh, you know a field from parent that is also possible okay this is a child to parent uh, you know query now about parent to child you know uh, i am writing a query on the parent and i want to you know retrieve the child records parent to child is going to be this okay select name you have to have a sub query for the set of child records because if one parent can have multiple child records right so let's say there is a you know account and i'm trying to retrieve the child records of account there can be four contacts associated to that got it so what you will do you will put a sub query inside that okay and in your s object data type this list of child records which we call related list is actually considered as one uh, i would say you know one part of your s object data type okay uh, just like a field okay so name is a field this related list is a field you write a sub query for it so select last name from contacts from account all right so now what will it return it will return me you know name of all the accounts and it will also you know sub query all the uh last name from contacts which are associated with that particular account and i'll get to see that let's do this So now here you write a subquery, select first name, last name from contacts. Now this has to be contacts. It's not contact. Generally, when you're writing a query on contact, you are writing contact. That's the object name. Here I'm writing contacts. Why I'm writing contacts? Because this is not referring to the object this is uh, uh, referring to the related list okay and the name of the related list the account contact relationship name of the relationship is contacts got it so this is not the object contact this is the relationship related list okay that is the reason why you have to write contacts here okay now if you're wondering how do i know uh whether the related list name is contact or contacts just go to the relationship field you will get to see it there okay so whenever there is a relationship between two uh, objects there is a relationship field right if you go to the relationship field you will get to see the related list name and that needs to be used here okay now do you see this it has uh, given me name in one field and complete list of first name and last name in another field okay it has kind of concatenated and included it as a single string but yes it is included in one single field but it retrieves all those values okay so this is how it works that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching 
For more videos in this series, you can look for the link in description below or visit my website. Goodbye and take care.